Welcome to the Mystic Access Podcast, where the magic is in learning. Hello, everybody, and welcome to this episode of the Mystic Access Podcast. She's Kim. He's Chris. And we have a lot to talk about this fine day. We do. And some of it is logistical in nature. So bear with us a little bit while we discuss some of that. Let's start off by talking a little bit about the Mystic Access website. Yes, the Mystic Access website is going through a little bit of changes. And one of them is the dreaded C word, which is the CAPTCHA. There might be times when you stumble across a CAPTCHA. And unfortunately, they are a necessary evil. We had a way that we could avoid the CAPTCHAs. But unfortunately, that way was breaking other things internally as well. So we decided to take that down and actually use the real CAPTCHAs. So you're going to see the I'm a human checkbox or what you're already used to. Just to let you know, if you can't sign in for whatever reason, if you're just used to putting in your username and password, then check for the CAPTCHA, and that should work. The other thing to note about that is, if you're used to tabbing through websites, and you hear something strange in tab order, you may want to check on that and see what it is. Because sometimes when you're in tab order and you're moving through that way, you miss vital things. And generally, they'll speak very accessibly and tell you what they are, but occasionally something will happen and they don't. And because we're still working the kinks out of this new system, we don't want you to come across that. But depending on your particular layout, and your browser and your screen reader version and all these different things, you might. So if you're in tab order and you hear something that you're not sure about, you may want to check it and make sure it's not one of those I am a human checkboxes. <laughs> you want to make sure what you're checking or not checking or what you're doing in terms of moving through the site. That can be important as well. There was one that I was testing. It was a math captcha. And if you tabbed to it, it would say edit box required, but you didn't know what you were required to do unless you turned on your virtual cursor, went into browse mode or what have you. So it didn't automatically read. So that is not up there. That was a stumbling block that the first person that tried to use it had an issue. So we did remove that one. It's a good thing to keep in mind when you're going through any website. I've seen websites that say edit box, edit box, check box, edit box. And yes, it's not reading when you're tabbing through, but you can still get to the information by going into your virtual cursor, your browse mode, what have you to read the stuff around the edit box. Just because you're tabbing through doesn't mean a thing. Absolutely, and we have a really helpful tutorial on this very topic, if I do say so myself. That's one of the things we talk about in the Browse Happy tutorial. So if you would like to learn more about ways to more accessibly, successfully browse the internet, you can check out the Stress Less Browse Happy internet tutorial that we have. And it's about two and a half hours, I don't remember exactly. It's probably the shortest thing I've ever done for MA, (laughs) aside from some speaker tutorials. But I really had a lot of fun making it, and I think it was very necessary. So if you'd like some tips and tricks, you may want to check that out and see if that's something that would interest you. We've kept it very affordable. We will link to it. I'll link to it in the show notes for you. One thing I did want to ask you as a listener is that if you're using any browser other than Internet Explorer and you can't get the page to come up so it tells you that this browser is blocked we want to make sure we had somebody write to us and say that they were using edge and they couldn't get to the website because it blocked edge which i'm not able to duplicate and a few other people i know aren't able to duplicate so i just wanted to pass that along speaking of ie let's address that for those of you who are new Internet Explorer is an old web browser that a lot of people used to love. And about a year or so ago, we decided to stop supporting IE. So if you went to the website with IE, you wouldn't be able to get through. It would put up, this website doesn't support your browser. And it's only for IE. And the reason we did that was because the website kept breaking with Internet Explorer. So it would work with any other browser but Internet Explorer. Because Internet Explorer wasn't keeping up with the new trends in the way that Internet works. And it was acting weird in that it was doing different things for different people. A lot of times I couldn't even activate a link. It was very strange. The fields on the checkout page would not read. Would not. I mean, you couldn't edit them. Yeah, it's not that it, right. It's not that it wouldn't read. You couldn't edit them. You couldn't edit them. 
Right. And it wasn't even a screen reader thing. It happened to sighted people as well. Absolutely. So it really wasn't something we could fix. We know a lot of you still love your IE. This isn't something that we did to say, well, you use this old browser, so we don't care about you and working with you. That's not what it was. We simply could not keep a pace with what it would take to support IE. Every single time something came out, it broke again. And we dealt with this for about six months. Eventually, we sat down and started talking about it and said, you know, can we really continue to do this? As a result of that, we created some free resources for you, one of which is a downloadable class. It's a class we taught last year on switching from IE to another browser. And I will link to that in the show notes for you in case you're interested in learning more. We're not saying IE is terrible and awful. I mean, we all have our different opinions on whether or not that's true. But ultimately, one thing that we can probably all agree on is that IE is old. And IE has not been touched in several years now. So because of that, it makes it very difficult for sites to continue to support IE, especially little sites like ours. The resources that it would take are just kind of beyond us. We have way too many moving parts on the site as it is. So being able to support an old browser is pretty much impossible at this stage. We, in fact, at some point even thought, well, maybe we could change this again. You know, maybe things have improved in some way, either with the way we have things built or the things that are happening. And we realized within about an hour of testing it that, no, in fact, we cannot continue to support IE. So we apologize for the inconvenience, but we did want to bring up again why we chose to do this and that, in fact, there are alternatives and we've created free resources to assist you in learning more. And if you want to still stick with a Microsoft browser, Microsoft has just released their latest and greatest version of Microsoft Edge. That will run under Windows 7, Windows 10, and that would be a very good replacement for Internet Explorer for you moving forward as well. So if you don't want to use Google Chrome or if you don't want to use Firefox or any of the other browsers that are out there, you want to stick with Microsoft, you can still use Edge. What do you think of Edge? I know you've been playing with it and I'd like to. I played with it. It's really nice. It works as one would expect it to work. It's a Chromium version of Edge, so it's kind of like Chrome. So if you're already used to the way Chrome works, you'd be used to the way Edge works as well. One of the differences between Internet Explorer and Edge is that there is no menu bar across the top of the screen. So you don't have file, edit, favorites, and all that stuff. It's more like Chrome with a vertical menu. So that's something you would have to get used to. It's just something that's a little different in terms of how things work. And you might actually find you like it better. Sometimes the vertical menus can be kind of cool. It just really depends on what you get used to. I don't find it particularly hard to find stuff in vertical menus, especially when you learn shortcuts. You can definitely get to where you want to go just as easily. It's just a different way of doing things. Absolutely. So that's the site piece that we wanted to cover first. And we know it's kind of boring and like, really, do we have to go here? But we want you to understand that we have some things that are shifting a little bit. And we don't want that to inconvenience you. So remember, if you get on there and you get frustrated, you can always get in touch with us. Give us a call. We're by the phones between 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time, Monday through Friday. You can call. If you don't get us right away, here's another thing to remember. There are only two of us. If we are answering, it means one of us is probably either recording something or there's some admin task that is really taking serious precedence right now that we have to finish in a timely manner or something. So please just leave us a message. We understand it can be frustrating to wait. Just leave us a message. We will get back to you. And our number is 716-543-3323. And if you want to place an order, you can just press 1, and that will take you to us, and we will assist you with that. Because we don't want you to be frustrated. We can happily take your order via phone. It doesn't take us very long, and you will receive all the info that you need. And speaking of ordering things, we may have something new that you wish to purchase. We're looking forward to sharing a little bit about that with you today. Our January free class was all about audio description, and it was an awesome class. If you weren't there live, it is now up and available on the free downloads page, and I will link to it in the show notes. Speaking of show notes real quick, in case there's some confusion about how you get to the show notes, the easiest way is to go to the website and go to mysticaccess.com slash podcast. That's P-O-D-C-A-S-T. When you get there, you'll be able to access all of our archives, and you'll be able to click to see all of the various show notes for each podcast episode. That's the easiest way. If you're using something like a stream, 
it's not going to read you the entire show note. And it's probably going to be difficult to get those URLs because I usually share them as pretty links. It's not something that your stream or some of these other devices that will read show notes to you are going to show. If you're using an app, you may have a little better luck in terms of clicking on things and figuring things out. Because if the app is showing you the show notes, a podcast app, that may be easier But for your stream, for instance, it's kind of a no-go. So you probably want to go online to the website and just click around and figure out what you would like to see from the show notes. Because everything is linked to that we talk about in these episodes. So going back to that, if you want to listen to the archive of our January free class from January 30th, you can visit the link I'm going to put in the show notes to our free downloads page directly to this class. And it was an awesome class. I linked to some resources in the class material that you will find. We had some really fun conversation and some surprising things happened. And it was great. As part of the class, we announced that we were having a sequel to our Cutting the Cord course that we taught a couple years ago. And things have definitely changed a bit since then. Some of it is much for the better because we have new services that we can check out and play with, don't we? Yes, we do. There's quite a lot of them. So we're going to be talking about new ones. We're going to be talking about changes to some services that you may have heard of already. For those of you who are completely new to the topic of cord cutting, we're going to give you a basic introduction to what it is and how it works. And the reason that we mentioned this in an audio description class is that some cord cutting services will allow you access to audio described content. That's very exciting. So we're going to talk about some of the options available. We're going to give you a rundown. We're going to focus on new services. We're also going to focus on free services because most cord cutting services have a monthly or sometimes annual fee associated with them. So we're going to just talk about the differences between them and how they work in terms of accessibility on various platforms, what they offer in terms of, for instance, channel lineups or on-demand content, things like that. So there's a lot to talk about. It's going to be a three-week class. It is now up on the website, available for purchase for $45. So if you're interested, check it out online. I put the entire table of contents, essentially, the entire syllabus for the class up on the website. So you can check it out. You can also listen to a sample of our previous cord cutting class. So you can get an idea of what we talked about. If you were part of our previous cord cutting class, or if you purchased it when it became a product, you should have received an email from us. We encourage you to check that email prior to registering for the new course. But we would absolutely love to have you. We've already had quite a few people register. And it begins on February 25th, which is a Tuesday. So you've got a little bit of time to figure out if this is something you want to do. If you are brand new to our classes, either our free or our paid classes, Or if you've come to some of our free classes and are like, well, you know, I don't know about the $45 investment, we over-deliver on everything, always. That's kind of one of our points of pride here at MA. So we really think you would get your money's worth out of joining because we do all the hard work for you in terms of testing these services. And we found some pretty interesting ones. So lots of things happening there, and we are very anxious to share what's new in the cord cutting world from an accessibility standpoint. And don't worry if some of this is completely new to you because there will be overview as well. The next class we want to talk about is the class that's coming up on February 27th. And this was one that we think a lot of you may be very excited about, because we've been so impressed with the Blind Shell phone that we've decided to offer a class on it, because it really does offer a lot of really cool features and some really cool conveniences that we think many of you may appreciate and benefit from very highly. So we want to share more about it. We want to have it in front of us where we can demo things for you and answer your questions. So if there's something you want to know, we can demo that for you as well when we get to the Q&A portion of class. So we're very excited about being able to offer this class and We are actually making this one a public class, so you don't even have to be part of our events list to join it. We want to make this something where anyone can come, so invite your friends, let them know it's happening. There will be a link to join class in the show notes. Now, for those of you who have never been to our classes, we use a platform called Zoom. You may have heard of it. It's a mainstream platform. It's not something that's just for blind people, and it is highly, highly, highly accessible. What's cool about it, and the reason that we use it, well, one of the reasons we use it, but the primary reason, is that you can access it from pretty much any platform you dream of. So, PC, Mac, 
Fire OS, iOS, Android, and yes, you can still call on your touchtone phone. So you've got lots of options to join us. You know what I like to do when I'm watching TV? What? I like to sip on my humidifier. Do you? I do. Because mm-hmm. it makes your lungs all happy? It does, <laughs> yes. Makes your skin not all dry and crinkly because we're in the middle of winter time. Not that it really feels much like winter time this year, but even in your neck of the woods, it's not been really terrible at all. Humidifiers are awesome, y'all. It took me how many years to convince you to get yourself a nice humidifier? A lot. Oh, well, we won't talk about that. Uh-huh. Anyway, tell them more. So I got a humidifier. I got an Air Innovations 1.8 gallon digital humidifier. And what's really, really cool about this humidifier is that it can hold up to 1.8 gallons of water, but it has buttons on it and they're arranged in a circle. So you got three on the left edge of the circle, you got three on the right edge of the circle, and they're very, very easy to use. The first one on the top left is power on off. Then if you go down on the left side, you've got mist, and you got four different types of mist, and you can press that until you get to the one you want. They're essentially mist levels. So you can have a little bitty misty mist, or you can have a huge mist, so it's completely up to you. Yes. The next one is the humidistat, which I never use. That's all the way on the bottom left. Then on the right, you have interesting buttons, too. You've got duration until you want it to turn on. So let's say you want your humidifier to turn on in two hours. You'd press the button twice and it would automatically come on. So it's not going to humidify until that time is up. So give me an example of that. Mm -hmm. So let's say that I'm leaving for work at 7 in the morning. So we're leaving for work at 7 in the morning and we get home at 3. You can turn your humidifier on. Then you can press that button until you get to, and it's not 3 in the afternoon because there's no clock. You have to know that between 7 and 3 is X amount of hours. So you press that button until you get to 8 hours. And then when you come home, your humidifier will automatically turn on for you. It's like when you pre-program your coffee pot to wake you up in the morning. It's that same kind of deal. So you know you're going to be away and it will just pop on and be ready for you. So you press the button and it goes 24 hours. So if you wanted to turn on in 23 hours, You could do that. If you want to turn it on 17 hours, you can do that as well. And it's totally usable and accessible. The next button on the right hand side is your timer off button. I use this a lot. So let's say that I'm going to bed at 9 o'clock and I want it to turn off at, let's say, 5. So I would turn it on, then I would press the button 8 times for those hours 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then I would just go on my happy way, and it'll turn off when the eighth hour is up. So when you get up at 5 o'clock in the morning, it turns off. It goes to sleep. Right, so you don't have to worry about it. It's not running 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And that's nice, because if you have a multiple-story house, then you may want one for upstairs and one for downstairs, and you don't necessarily want them running at the same time, because you can only be in one place at one time. You've got the option to be able to play with it. One thing I will say about it, It kind of looks like a trash can, but it's got a piece on it that looks like a long pole. And you can either use that or not. It depends on how high up you want the spout for the mist to come out. It is kind of a spout. It's cool. It's like a huge spout. Yep. And you can take that little spout off and put it directly on top of the humidifier. Or you can use that pole and you can raise up the spout. It's kind of like a huge neck or something, if you will. If you have the humidifier on the floor, it's probably good to use the pole because that way it's going to disperse your mist into the room. Right. And if you have it on a shelf or a dresser or a table or something like that, then maybe you don't want to use the pole because it might go way too high. Yeah, it just depends. You're going to kind of discover as you play with it, especially if you're new to these, the easiest ways to use them to meet your needs. And the third button on the right, so I said there were three on the left and three on the right. The third button on the right turns off the beep turns off the light and turns the beep back on. So that's kind of how that works. And if you totally mess up, you say, oh, I don't know if I made it go off in six hours or eight hours, you can just turn it off and it resets everything back to zero, if you will. The one thing to note is that your mists for humidifiers come in different temperatures. This is a cool mist and it is cold. Yeah, it is. I'm going to wonder what it's going to be like in the summertime. You'll like it in the summertime. It'll feel good in the summer. (laughs) Yeah, it'll help with the 
electricity bill because it won't run the air conditioner as much. Yeah, it might. It kind of depends. Depends on how much humidity is actually in the air. Yeah, yeah, it's going to depend on things like that. But the reason you might want one of these to begin with is, number one, it'll keep you from coughing and sneezing and feeling cruddy during some of these months when you have particularly dry air. So it moistens up your air. It will help your skin. So you won't have crackly dry skin if you're sitting in proximity to one of these. So that can be particularly nice. It can just help your overall health and help you to feel better. If you are someone who uses your voice on a daily basis, then it's definitely something that you might want to consider having in your space, in your regular daily space where you spend the most time. Because it really does help you from getting a dry throat and it just helps your air to feel fresher and cleaner and clearer and helps your lungs. Obviously, if you have a condition like asthma or emphysema or something like that, it's not going to do anything to cure that. But it is going to help you to breathe easier. So these things are just so nice. Finally, I just said Chris isn't going to buy himself one of these, so the first one that he got was a present from me, and then he ended up buying himself another one, which was infinitely satisfying to me as I smirked the entire time. It just turned out to be an investment that you appreciated, didn't you? Uh I liked the fact that this one turned out to be so nicely accessible out of the box once you learn where stuff is. I used Ira for about five minutes, and we figured it all out. It was nice. And the buttons are real tactile, aren't they? Yes, they are. Yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. And they do beep, as Chris mentioned, so you will hear a little beep when you press the buttons. There is a little slot on the back where you can put in some aromatherapy pads, and they really make it smell nice, too. I'll try to link to the exact model number so you'll know, because Air Innovations does a lot of humidifiers. So I'll try to find the exact model number for you so we can link to that and show you what it's all about. Talk a little bit about the process of filling it up. The process of filling it up is a little... Interesting, because the top portion, the tank where the water is, you can pick that up. What I usually do is I pick that up, carry it into the tub, put it in the tub, and fill it up that way. Because you can get a lot of water in there. Either that, or you'd have to get a couple gallon jugs or something and pour them in that way as well. But for me, I find it just easier to just haul it into the tub and fill it up that way. But there's a little cover that it comes with that sits on the top. And if you don't put that on just right, it's going to fall in. But it doesn't fall in when you have it on. It's just when you're trying to put it on. If you don't put it on just straight and just perfect, then it's going to, again, fall in. You have to reach your hand in the water and pull it out. And I think it auto-filters your water, too. Did it come with a filter? It it does, yes. There's a little filter that you can take off, and you can put it back on. So, yes. You can wash them. Yep. I think you can just use a little bit of water and dawn or something like that on them and make them feel better. So it's not like your vacuum filter or something right. like that that you wash right. out. The filter is a ceramic filter, and then you can wash the inside of the tank, and then you can screw that thing back on. Yeah, you definitely want to clean that tank. If you're using it all the time, clean that tank at least at least once a month. Go ahead and just use some dishwashing detergent in there. Clean it, let it sit overnight, and it will feel much better. But I did want you to know, because Chris was talking about filling stuff up from the tub, that this thing does, in fact, filter your water. So you don't have to worry about that. Right. So it is cool. It's a very neat humidifier. I'm really glad, because I don't have this particular one, to know that it is really nicely accessible. So, hey, that turned out to be a better present than even I expected. Yay. I want to talk about a present that I gave myself recently. And this is going to be kind of an ongoing series for the next few months that Chris and I are going to do and play with. Remember last year, you may have heard the episode we were talking about food and having your Thanksgiving food delivered to you. Things like that. And for those of you who don't know, the other announcement we need to make, probably before we even go into this, is speaking of food, we just released our newest book in collaboration with NBP, National Braille Press called Dinner Delivered. So if you would like to learn more about that, you can visit nbp.org and learn more. There was also an informative interview last podcast that you can check out as well, where Lisa took us into the castle and (laughs) interviewed us about the book. This kind of came out of those experiences, both the Thanksgiving delivery and the book. And it got me to thinking, We have busy lives, and sometimes things just aren't convenient to be able to find the ingredients and make the food and all these things. And admittedly, sometimes you're going to pay more to have other people either deliver your stuff or put together and deliver your stuff, but it may be a convenient thing. 
I often find myself working crazy hours, and by the time I'm done, I just do not want to go make myself dinner. <laughs> so I want something that is easy and convenient and still very tasty and very good for me. Because in the last year or so, I've tried to make some very conscious choices about what I am putting into my body. So I kind of made it a mission to start finding out about some of these services and how they work particularly the meal prep services that will actually send you the pre-prepped meals. And the first one that I tried is a site called Daily Harvest. If you watch any television, you may have seen the Daily Harvest commercials. It's dailyharvest.com. I'm impressed with it for a lot of reasons. I'm impressed with it because of the accessibility of the site. I'm impressed with it because everything showed up the way they said it was going to. I like the layout of things on the website, and I've really liked the food thus far. It is expensive. I will not lie. (laughs) When you are buying these, essentially what you get with Daily Harvest is they have different categories of food items that include lots of nice fruits and veggies. You can get what are called harvest bowls, which are essentially things that you throw in the microwave and you just eat them and they're delicious. And they have your fruits and veggies. There are no meat, so if you're a vegetarian, you might find this to be a really nice choice for you. If you're vegan, I don't know if this would work because for the smoothies at least you're adding milk and I suppose you could find an alternative. You can choose different categories of foods. You can get smoothies, so a smoothie is technically not a food, it's a drink, but nevertheless, you can make smoothies, you can get these harvest bowls, they have something called chia bowls, which are also delicious, they have oat bowls, which is essentially oatmeal that you can either chill overnight, so you can have overnight oats, or you can warm it up in the microwave and have it that way, and that's one of my favorites, are the oat bowls. They also have what are called bites, Chris can laugh at my experience with bites, and we'll talk about that in a minute, and then they have lattes. So they have these various categories that you can enjoy. But I was talking about the price. Depending on the plan that you subscribe to, you're going to be paying 7 bucks or so a piece for these. So they do add up. And I think the most you can get, the plan I got was 24 for a month. And I think you can get up to 26 per month. You can also get them weekly though. But remember, you're going to be paying 7 bucks for however many a week. And I think the least you can get is like 9 or something like that per week. So it is going to add up. That's still 63 bucks a week or something like that. It may be worth it to you, though. What I found about these is that they're very delicious. They're very filling. You're obviously going to have some that you like better than others. I've only found one so far that I just really did not like very much. And it was more a texture thing than a flavor thing. I think it had a lot of kale in it. And so it was just a very coarse texture. The kale was not very finely chopped or diced or whatever and that was very noticeable to me as I was eating it. Essentially what you get are cups. You know like if you were eating at a fast food joint the kind of cups you get that include your drink. They're about that size so they're probably only about eight ounces somewhere in there and they have the fully frozen ingredients. So depending on what you want to make that day or at that time you have different instructions for different things. Now, before we talk about the experience and the delivery and all that, let's take a peek at the website. Daily Harvest One Step Prep. Chef-crafted food built on organic ingredients. Delivered to you. Food that takes care of you. Brave. I'm in the Brave web browser. That's another browser that we haven't talked about, but Brave is an option for you as well. And I'm on the Daily Harvest website, which again is dailyharvest.com, all one word. So, I'm on the homepage. Link JVE your friends $25 off plus GET $25 off for you too. So that's a little referral thing that's at the top of the page. So you can give a referral code and you can give that to your friends and you can get money and they can get money off of their next order. Banner landmark navigation landmark list with three items collapse sub menu link browse. There's browse. It's a sub menu and it's collapsed. Link oh your story. Our story. Link gifts. And gifts. I'm on the home page of the site and I'm just arrowing down. Out of list visited link daily harvest. List with two items link H-E-L-B. There's help. Collapse sub menu link H-I Kim. Hi Kim and that's my account info. So if we open that up, that's where we'll go to get into my plan and all these other things. Out of list heading level one overwhelmed. We're right there with you. So this is text on the home page. Link Y, yes, please. So that's yes, please. Graphic three cups. It's showing a graphic. 
Heading level 1 get $25 off. Share your code with friends and they'll get $25 off their first box. And You'll get is, $25 towards your... This is all about the referral. And I don't know if I'm actually on the homepage. I'm supposed to be. I'm going to go back up to the top. Link. And arrow down. Link. Out of list visited link daily harvest. And click here. Let's make sure I'm on the right page. So if you go into help, you can learn a lot more about what Daily Harvest is, how it works. I don't know quite why it's showing me the referral code because I went back to the homepage to try and keep it from doing that and it's still showing it to me. I'm not sure if that's actually on the homepage. But what you're interested in really is this menu up at the top because what I want to show you is how... Banner Landmark Link Oh Your Story Collapse Submenu Link Browse You can browse. And I just arrowed, I down arrowed and I went too far and I up arrowed to get back here. So let's open this browse. Expanded menu. And arrow down. Menu menu item ELL. So you can browse by all. Menu item smoothies. Menu item harvest bowls. Menu item soups. I forgot about soups because I did get a soup as well. Menu item bites. Menu item OAT bowls. Oat bowls. Menu item CHIA bowls. Chia bowls. Menu item lattes. Lattes. Out of menu link, oh, your story. And then we're back to our story. So we essentially just expanded that menu. Let's take a peep at one of these. Let's go back up to the harvest bowls. Menu, menu item ELL. Menu item smoothies. Menu item harvest bowls. And I'm going to press enter. Now, this is very, very, very auto-responsive, okay? So what happens is if you click on something and nothing appears to happen. Collapse sub-menu link browse. You probably just want to press H. Your veg pack sidekick heading level one. And that will get you down closer to where you want to be. So this says your veg packed sidekick. Put fruits and vegetables on cruise control with harvest bowls. Nourishing, savory foods for any time of day. Ready in minutes with just one step. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, late night snack. We've got you. Clickable graphic sweet potato plus wild rice hash. Here are the various harvest bowls. Graphic bestseller. Sweet Potato Plus Wild Rice Hash Harvest Bowl. Clickable Graphic Cauliflower Rice Plus Pesto. So here are some options that you can access, and I'm going to move down by graphic. Bestseller Graphic. Clickable Broccoli Plus Cheese Graphic. Bestseller Graphic. Clickable Chickpea Plus Sadar Graphic. Clickable Brussels Sprouts Plus Tahini Graphic. Clickable Lentil Plus Tomato Bolognese Graphic. I just had that, so let's click on this. And I'm going to down Daily arrow. Harvest One Step Prep, Chef Crap. Well, I was going to down arrow. Let's see. Banner Landmark Navigation. No, in the case of this one, it took me to the top of the page. So I'm going to press H. Main Landmark Overview Heading Level 6. This is the overview of this particular harvest bowl. Heading Level 3, Part Lentil Bolognese, Part Tomatoes 2. 100% Comfort Food. With Protein and Fiber Packed Lentils. Heading Level 3, Carrots. Antioxidant rich green mini mushrooms and leeks in an herb white tomato sauce. It packs the heading level 3 flavor of a 2 hour simmer in a matter of minutes. Because cooking from scratch is nice, but heading level 3 shortcuts can be nicer. Heading level 6 details. Then you can read details. Link heading level to ingredients. There's a link to view the ingredients. Organic green lentils. Organic green mini mushrooms. It's going to read me all these. Tomatoes. Organic yellow onion pure oregano. Organic black pepper. I'm just down arrowing. Link heading level 2 nutrition facts. There's the nutrition facts. One serving per container. And there's a link, but I'm just arrowing down as well. Serve. Size. One container. 211 G. Amount per serving. Calories 140. So this is only 140 calories. Total fat 3 G. Sodium 360 milligrams. 15% DV. Total right. carbohydrate 22G. 8% DV. And it just keeps going. I'm going to press H. How to heat heading level 2 link. I really like this. So it gives you prep instructions right here on the website, which actually turned out to be a very good thing. Graphic step 1. Heading level 6 step 1. And look, there are headings here for the steps. Empty cup into a non-stick pan or microwave safe bowl. Graphic step 2. Heading level 6 step 2. First of a top. Stir over medium heat and add 1 to TBSB of water or broth, if needed. For microwave, heat for 4-6 minutes. Graphic Step 3. Heading Level 6 Step 3. Return to cup or transfer to your favorite bowl. Heading Level 6 Overall Rating. Here are the reviews. 
Heading level 1, 4.4. This is 4.4 stars. Slash 5.0. Out of 5. 4.4. Link right to review. And you can write your own review. January 30th, 2020. So here's a review. Heading level to very good. A lot like a good old-fashioned pasta dish. Love this one. T-H. And there's the reviewer's initials. January 30th, 2020. Here's another one. Heading level to one of my fabs. So you can just scroll through and you can read reviews. So it's got everything here that you would want to see in terms of what these things are like and their nutritional value and their calories and what's in them. You can find out everything. But I particularly love that all the caloric info and cook instructions are right here on the website. There are, in the reviews a lot of times, notes that people make about what they add to make things to their taste. I'm going to go back near the top of the page. List with two items link H-E-L-B. Collapse submenu link H-I. Here's Hi Kim. Let's go in here real quick. Expanded menu. I just want to show you what's here. Menu menu item MY deliveries. Here's my deliveries. Menu item MY plan. My plan. Menu item order history. order history. Menu item account info. Account info. Menu item. Menu item right to review. Menu item GET $25 off. Menu item LOG out. What's really cool is when you initially sign up, you can fill up your box for the first time. If you go into manage your plan, you can change everything that's in your box. It's just very easy to add stuff to your box. Unfortunately, since I'm logged in and already have an account, it's difficult to show you that aspect of things. When you get it, it will come in a box with a lot of dry ice. These little cups come in the box, and the little cups are recyclable, so you can recycle the cardboard, and I think you can recycle the little plastic lids as well. Here's where the only real problem came in, is that there's no barcode on these. They're made in small batches, and as a result of that, when you get them, there's no real way to know what each one is. So sometimes you can shake them, and you can kind of figure it out. Like the bites, for instance. I know I was going to mention that a moment ago. They have these things called bites, and they're literally just yummy little bite-sized things and they come in a cup. You get six or so of them in a cup. And I got these coconut lemon ones. And Chris kept laughing at me. He's like, you're going to have all those eaten. And they're not low calorie. I mean, they're probably, what did I say, like 230 calories or something a piece or 130 calories a piece? Anyway, enough to notice for sure. You don't want to be eating the whole cup. I ate three of them in like 48 hours or something. And he's like, what are you doing? But they were so good because you can just take them out of the freezer and eat them. You don't have to do anything to them. And they were just delicious. I found them really lovely. Makes my mouth water just thinking about them. If you shake the cup with those little bites in it, you can hear them rattle around in there and you know, oh, these are the bites. Versus with the smoothies and things, you don't. What I learned, of course, <laughs> later, <laughs> is that they're all color-coded. Yay! So, I think the smoothies all come in little black cups and some of the others are green and some of the others are one thing. And so, you might be able to use a color identifier to figure out what's what, but you're still not going to know which, say, if you get six harvest bowls, which one is which. So that's kind of the unfortunate thing. You might have to get some assistance either from Ira or from some of these services or from a person to help you figure out what is what. But I didn't realize they were color-coded. I didn't see that anywhere on the website. Of course, they probably show you lots of pretty pictures to tell you. But I didn't find that out until I was talking to a person in person who said, oh yeah, all these are color-coded. <laughs> that's kind of one bummer about this. In terms of the ability to use the site, though, it's crazy. I mean, it's beautifully accessible. Everything is very nice. And one of the really fun things is there's an app as well, which is just as accessible as the website. So if you type in Daily Harvest, you'll find their app. And you can do all this stuff on the app as well. It's just very nice. I've been very impressed thus far with everything. You get emails to tell you everything. You can track your order, obviously, when it's shipped out to you. I believe shipping is free. I want to go into help really quickly. List with two items, H-E-L-P link, untitled Brave, H-T-T. It's opening me a new window. Visited link, browse. So when you go into help, there's lots of questions that you can get answers to. Clickable, what do I need to add to my smoothie? Logical or... Clickable, what does pause or hold mean? Clickable, where do I cancel my plan? Out of list heading level 3, yep. Still need help. Link button, G-E-T in touch. You can get in touch. Button expand chat widget. Button expand chat widget. There's a chat widget down here. Main landmark navigation landmark list with three items link gifts. Out I just pressed page up. List with three items link H-E-L-B. Visited link login. 
Link GE started. Out of list inquiring minds want to know. Edit ask a question. Here's where you can ask a question. Button search. List with four items. Link our food. Link about us. These are categories within which you can find answers to certain questions. Link my plan. Link gifting. Let's go to my plan. Link my plan. My plan document. Main landmark. Link WHO. And then I'm just going to. Yep. Still need help. Down here to this Heading. heading and then up arrow. Clickable see all. List with five items. Clickable logical or. What do I do with the dry ice? What do I do with the dry ice? What happens if I'm not home when my box is delivered? Will my cup stay frozen in transit? How do daily harvest deliveries work? Where do you deliver? Delivery. Clickable see all. List with five items. I'm click just going up. What is the cutoff to change or skip a scheduled delivery? How do I ready my gift card? How do I enter a promo code? How do I place an order? Is my plan automated? Ordering. List with five items. Clickable logical or. How do I unskip a delivery? How do I skip a delivery? What does cancel mean? What does pause mean? So as you can see, there's a lot of different info here. What does skip it's mean? It's very friendly. Account management. And each of these kind of has their own little marker. What is the cutoff to change or skip a scheduled delivery? What does skip mean? So you can view all this info here. There are weekly and monthly plans that you can check out. I found that the ingredients taste very, very fresh. So they seem to have been frozen at the time of freshness. And they taste awesome. I really love the smoothies. I really have liked, as I said, almost everything that I've tried so far. And I probably have a little less than half of my plan left. I do want to show you the app really quickly. And this is the iOS version. There is a version for Android as well. Open Daily Harvest. Daily Harvest. I'm going to the top left of the screen. Open Menu. Button. And here I am at Open Menu. Daily Harvest. Selected. For Kim. Button. For Kim. Our picks. Button. Two of ten. Our picks. Two of ten. Selected. For Kim. Button. One of ten. For Kim is one of ten. Our, all collections. Button. Three of ten. All collections. And I'm just going to move through the rest of these. Smoothies. Button. Harvest bowls. Button. Soups. Button. Bites. Button. Lattes. Button. Chia bowls. Button. Oat bowls. Button. Green chickpea plus kale curry. New. One of three. So then they're showing you some items. Tart cherry plus raspberry smoothie. Two of three. Butternut squash plus rosemary puree. Three of three. Recommended for you. Here's recommended for you. A few picks we think you'll like. Quinoa plus chipotle. Harvest bowl. Button. One of eight. Add one quinoa plus chipotle from box. Button. You can add one. Lentil plus mesquite chili. Soup. Button. Two of eight. Add one lentil plus mesquite chili from box. Button. Broccoli rice plus dill peel off. Harvest bowl. But add one broccoli rice plus dill peel off from box. Butternut squash plus kale shakshuka. Harvest bowl. But add one butternut squash plus kale shakshuka from box. Button. Cinnamon plus banana. Oat bowl. Button. Five of eight. I'm just going to move through the rest of these quickly. Add, 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 add one magic button. Possible text. Rate your picks. We'll help you find new. Rate your picks. Rate your picks. We'll help you find something new. Recently tried. Here are my recently tried items. Pineapple plus matcha. Smoothie. Button. Add one pineapple plus matcha from box. Button. We can see all the things I've recently tried. Chocolate plus blueberry. Smoothie. Add one chocolate plus blueberry from box. But strawberry plus peach. Smoothie. Add vanilla bean plus cacao. Smoothie. Mint plus cacao. Smoothie. Add one mint plus cacao from box. And I'm moving quickly. I'm skipping over the add to box. I've moved to one of my recently tried items. Blackberry plus magic. Chia bowl. Button. Six of twelve. Let's open this up. Blackberry plus magic. Cheap back button. I have a back button. Back button. I'm going to flick right. Blackberry plus magic. Chia bowl. 3.9 button. I think it's absolutely amazing. ADD button. So you can add it. That's add. Tastes like blackberry banana pie. Now that is also on the website. If you go above the overview heading, it tells you what it tastes like. Like the sound of black magic? You'll love the way it tastes. Two. Packing a juicy flavor punch. Blackberries have some of the highest levels of antioxidants out of any fruit. But the real star of this bowl is the organic blue magic, the blue-green algae Arthrospira platensis, which is derived from magical plant superfood spirulina. It gets the name blue magic for its color, but also for its myriad health benefits. It's jam-packed with amino acids, B12 vitamins, enzymes, and minerals.
This bowl will make you wonder why all your breakfasts are blue. And as you can see, they have really cute descriptions for some of these. More button. There's a more button. If I move right. Contains coconut. Key ingredients. Here's key ingredients. Banana star. Chia star. Blackberry star. Hemp heart star. Blue magic star. Astragalus. Star organic. And the star means that these ingredients are organic. Benefits. Here are benefits. You can also see these on the website. Immunity boosting. These are immunity boosting. Energizing. Energizing. Cleansing. Cleansing. Ingredients and nutrition facts. Here's ingredients and nutrition facts. How to prepare. How to prepare. Reviews. Here are reviews. 3.9. Based on 491 reviews. Tastes good, but don't eat at work. <laughs> February 6, 2020. Good. The taste. Tart. Fruity. Not too overbearing. Needs improvement. It was difficult to mix. I couldn't mix it all, and I left it in the fridge. The chias didn't mix and I had a chunky blob of chia seeds in the morning. It's not the most filling, especially since one serving is only half of the cup. Also, don't eat all this at work. I never had the blue magic spirulina before and it stained everything it touched. My poor mouth, haha. Whoops. Tips. 3 slash 4 sea oat milk. Gina B. And that's from Gina B. Blue magic. Here's another review. February 5th, 2020. Do as instructions say, but mix and store in separate container while it sets. Makes a large portion. A little bit bitter, but still tasty. Trisha C. And that's from Trisha C. So there's all these reviews. I want to back up, though, to... Ingredients and nutrition facts. Ingredients and nutrition facts. Ingredients and nutrition facts. If you double tap this and then move right. Ingredients. Organic bananas. Organic blackberries. Organic black chia seeds. Organic hemp seeds. Organic coconut milk. Organic coconut. Water. Organic lemon juice. Organic blue magic. Organic spirulina extract. It gives you the list of ingredients. Nutrition facts. And then the nutrition facts. Two servings per container. Serve. Size. Five container. 126 G. Amount per serving. Calories 230. Total fat 10 grams. 13% DV. And you can read the rest of those. How to prepare. And then if you move right, you have how to prepare, which you can open as well. Reviews. And then there's the reviews. So that just gives you an idea of the app. It works very, very well, and it makes a really, really nice user-friendly experience. There are promo codes. If you're interested in trying this out, there are promo codes all over the internet where you can check it out. And you can get, I think I got $25 off my first plan. That was cool. It does save you a little bit. So I ended up paying 140 something for 24. Like I said, it's still a little pricey, but if you want to find all the ingredients and prep them and chop them and wash them and put them all together and cook them and simmer them and do all the things you want to do, then you certainly can do that. And sometimes time is money. It just depends on what you want. You know, this isn't for everybody. But I had a nice experience with it. I love the accessibility of it. This is something I will do again. I currently paused my plan only because I want to try other things too. I want to experiment with other things and see what I like. I have the ability to reactivate my plan at any time, which is awesome, and have really enjoyed it thus far. I've really enjoyed getting to play with it and learn more about it and eat the yummy food. If this is something that interests you, it may be something you want to check out, and I will link to the Daily Harvest website. Thank you, everybody, for joining us on this podcast, and we hope that you found something of interest, either with the humidifier or the Daily Harvest. Bye. Bye. The preceding podcast is a presentation of Mystic Access, where the magic is in learning. If you are blind or visually impaired and desire to discover how our comprehensive products and services may support and empower your assistive technology journey, we welcome your visit at www.mysticaccess.com. Have a question or wish to place an order via phone? Call us at 716-543-3323. If you have something to share about this podcast episode, press 4 to reach our Mystic Access podcast comment line. Email us at info at mysticaccess.com. Connect with us on Twitter at twitter.com slash mysticaccess and like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash mysticaccessempower. Would you like to spread the word about our podcasts? Your friends and colleagues may listen and subscribe at www.mysticaccesspodcast.com. If you enjoy our episodes, consider leaving us an iTunes rating and review. Your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks for spreading the word, and thanks for being a listener. We hope you enjoyed this episode.